we have a bag of goodies right here from the Swedish candy shop in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. And we are excited to get into this because yeah. there's a lot of stuff here. Woo. And it's all Holdsbart brand. Hi everyone, I'm Haley. And I'm Nathan. And today we are going to go through this big pile of candy given to us by Swedish Candy Shop in Lancaster. Yes, this is all the Kohlsvart brand candy. Now Kohlsvart is relatively new to Swedish candy. Okay. Um, well, relatively new to the Sweden candy scene. Should there I say you go. it that way? Sure. And Swedish Lancaster sells the whole line. So he gave us the whole line of Kohlsvart candies for us to try. Candy today. fish. Yeah, yeah, candy fish. And we are super excited because it is also vegan candy. Oh, cool. Yeah. It's also, or is it gluten free or is that an X meaning it's not gluten free? It is also gluten free. It is also gluten free. Ooh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you have a gluten allergy, this is candy for you. Yeah. Um, and awesome. like Haley said, this was all given to us by Swedish. They actually are sponsoring this video, the last video where we did drinks, and the next video, which is going to be a combination of Swedish and Finnish. Ooh, way to give it away. Uh, yeah. So <laughs> if you're excited for that, make sure you hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed to our channel already. Mm -hmm. And hopefully, as you watch this video, you will like us and want to give us a good thumbs up and like this video. Yes. Yes, yes. Okay. All right. So let's get into the Colesvart candy. All right. Should we just like... This one? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Pick a bag, any bag. Yeah. What I love about this, all of these, is they are different fish. Like, they're, are they all... Okay, maybe not this one. That's like licorice and something else there. Right. But the, all, a lot of these are fish. Yeah. And we here in America have... Swedish fish, but like, is that what it comes from? Because you guys have candy fish that are like uh, uh, typical yeah. uh, over there? Yeah, I, I think it is. Or is it because Sweden tends to eat a lot of fish? You know, what, what does it actually come off of? Let us know in the comments Ooh. below. Yeah, okay. We'd like to learn things. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm, I'm intrigued to try some of these different fish shapes, not just the standard Swedish fish that we're familiar with. Correct, right. All right, so this one, oh, it actually says it's in the shape of a Swedish pike. Oh, cool. um, but the flavor is elderflower. I'm so excited. Yeah. <laughs> I believe we were told by the shop owner that the elderflower is one of the most popular flavors. I can imagine because we had that drink in the last video that yeah. was elderflower and lemon. Oh, that was one of the best things I've ever had. Yeah, yeah. Right. And if you have yet to see that video, make sure you go watch it. There'll be a link in the card and in the description. Yeah. Oh, those they're are cool. They're so long. Yeah. Which is like the fish that's on the bag, the pike. Yeah. And they're like this awesome, like clearish kind yeah. of almost transparent, but not... It's translucent. Translucent. That's the word. Color. Or opaque. Or, right? That's the other know. word. Where yeah. it's like barely see-through. Yeah. And this is supposed to be elderflower. Correct. Okay. Here we go. I just went right for it. I should have. Mmm, that's neat. Mm-hmm. So that's what elderflower tastes like by itself, not mm -hmm. with the extra lemon. Yeah. Again, it's that um, really neat, earthy, floral flavor, but like a really good flavor, not mm -hmm. not like a not perfumey floral. It's just like nice sweet floral. Yeah, exactly. I was gonna say it has a good sweetness. Mm -hmm. A good earthy sweetness. Yeah. We probably <laughs> we have a lot to get through today, yeah. so we probably should like have one at a time. Probably, but yeah. it's so good, mm -hmm. so good that I'm gonna give that a ten already. Oh yeah, I'll just that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So mm -hmm. really good start. Um, wow, love that. Should I pick the next one? <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, or you can pick. I can open and talk. Right. Oh, you're you're good now. I I'm getting there. <laughs> It gets kind of stuck. That's the one thing about having mm. like a chewy sweet to do. It like takes forever to get through the, the mouth system. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, so I think I'm going to take this one. This is... Raspberry. <laughs> yeah. Rotting? Roding? Probably not rotting. No. Because that would be Ro gross. <laughs> I think the two dots on top of the O is like a long O or is it like a hard O? I forget what that means. Let us know. <laughs> it doesn't. No, it's, it's raspberry. <laughs> yeah, there you go. It's raspberry flavor. Um, does it say what fish it is on the back on this one? Looks like it's the Arctic char. Arctic. We've we've taken the name from Arctic char, which is the oh, rooting. Oh, that's the rooting. Okay. okay. 
Yeah, since they share the same characteristics of red color. Ooh, nice. All right. Okay, oh, there's a reason behind the, the fish. I wonder what the elderflower connection was. While you're taking a while to do that. I had to find the little, like, perforated tear. Yeah. Perforated tear? <laughs> I struggle with this word. Perforated? Perforation? Perforation. Um, childhood memories and the celebration of Swedish summer with endless days of fun and games. It felt like summer when I was Aww. eating it. Well, I mean, it is summer. It's July. That is true. Yeah. Perfect time. Yeah. Um, oh, I like that. Though it might be August when you watch this, or possibly September, or any other month. Because well, that's true. It's going out, though, probably in... End of July, beginning of August. Something like that. Yeah. This one's kind of pinkish. Yeah, that's really cool. Okay. All right. It's a nice, soft, chewy, like, texture. Mm-hmm. Similar to the other one. Mm-hmm. Mm. I like that, though. You too. Hmm. Wow. I wonder if I like that flavor better. I really like the elderflower though. Yeah, I might like it better because I'm more familiar with the flavor. Mm -hmm. So it's like, ah, raspberry. Hmm. But yeah, the elderflower was still good because we've, been, other than the drink, have not had that flavor until today. True. Very true. Wow. Yes. That one's great though. Hmm. And I think this is going to be hard to uh, rate things differently. Yeah. I feel like a lot of them are going to be really good. Like a 10? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna to be tough. I'll be surprised if there is one that's lower than a 10. Yeah, Well, the licorice. Yeah, you're not a licorice person. Yeah. There's a couple licorice. Well, yeah, go for that one. Let's oh, see. it's licorice too. I just grabbed one. This one's smoked licorice. Ooh, smoked. All right, it doesn't show that it's a fish, but I'm wondering if it's a fish. It probably will be a fish. I think it's a fish. What would it be if that's it wasn't a fish? A piece of licorice? <laughs> Well, it's definitely black, like a piece it of is. licorice. It is super, yeah, very dark. Yeah. All right, I'm uh, a little nervous. Is this going to stain our teeth? I doubt it. Okay. Oh gosh, right away, mm. you got the smoked flavor. I like that though. Okay. It's like beef jerky. Yeah. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've never had beef jerky in such a chewy, chewy. texture. Yeah, those sometimes are pretty chewy. Okay. This is like a very weird experience for me because I sort of don't like it very much, but I also kind of like it. I know. I don't know what to think. I kind of like that smoky flavor. It's the very like more salty yeah. type of licorice. Yeah. Which wasn't our favorite in the past. But the fact that it's more smoky kind of saves it. I know the smokiness cuts that like very strong, was it antiseed type uh, I don't know. licorice? I think that's the word. Correct me if I'm wrong. Here, you can finish it though. Yeah, but yeah, I, I love the smoky flavor right off the bat. I and think I've decided though, I don't care for it. Okay, <laughs> well, I'll be enjoying that bag. Not not like, I won't be able to down it. I'll like grab one or two fish at a time and enjoy yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. that's true. Are you guys familiar with beef jerky in oh, Sweden? Yeah. Um, it's like a dried piece of beef that's seasoned mm -hmm. and Very smoked. good, we like it a lot. Yeah, yeah, we like it when it's made with deer meat, venison. Oh yeah, that is very good. So. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. But you like that one. I do. Yeah, let's rate that. Okay. It was weird. It was like the smokiness was very cool, but hang on. Meh. I'm sorry. <laughs> are, are you going lower or higher? I think I, I'm going one step lower. Okay. I'm sorry. I did eight. I did it too. So together it's a ten. Good. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh. Yeah. I love the smoky flavor. I can enjoy the licorice but it wasn't my favorite, but it was good enough to be an eight for me. Yeah, you still rated it very high. I did. Okay, let's have some redemption. Okay, sounds good. So <laughs> um, not I, this licorice. No, we'll do that one after this next one that okay. we do. Okay, okay. You can pick. All right, I will pick after a drink of water because, or tea. Is it water or tea that we have in our cup today? <laughs> Just drink it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we did water today. Yeah, we did water. We didn't have time to brew tea. Yeah, it was, yeah. We're on the clock when it comes to having, like, doing this and having a baby at the same time. Yeah. We gotta get things done. Yeah, yeah. So, sorry for not having tea today, but we have a drink. But they're not British snacks, so. But we were not told so bad, that, right? like, a good, oh. like, coffee or tea does complement even these types That's of snacks. That's true. Oh, I'm sorry. Maybe next time. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but not next video because it's gonna be filmed today. Correct. I picked this one. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Hud. That's actually the one I was going to go for. Okay. This is Pig, pig Bar. 
Pick, pick a bar. I would go with those. Sour blueberry candy. <laughs> Sour blueberry. And this is in the replica shape of the Swedish turbot, which kind of looks turbot. like a flounder type fish. Okay. So. It does look like a flounder. I'm excited for this one because sour blueberry just sounds awesome. I know. Ooh, Ooh. it's it's like um, encrusted with sugar. Like the sour crystals. Wow. It's a lot smaller than uh -huh. I actually expected. I was expecting like this big flounder looking thing. Yeah, like almost three to four times the size. But it's sour, so it might be good that it's small. That's true. Okay. That's different. The blueberry, okay, it's there. It came in at the very end. The blueberry? Mm-hmm. It's really interesting because it's not like anything we have that's like blueberry flavored. No. I don't know. I think it's because it's a, um, a more of a natural blueberry flavor. Probably. Well, like, actually, I suppose. According to the ingredients, I do not see any blueberry in there. Okay. Interesting. Great color extract for the color. There's like nothing in there that flavors it. Well, it. there's two words here. It says oh, okay. natural aroma. Like, oh. I don't know. So where are they getting the blueberry flavor for this? Yeah, I don't know. I don't, yeah, that's probably why we're like, hmm, it's a little different. It's not quite blueberry. Yeah. I mean, it's cool, it's neat, but to me, it's almost lacking a little flavor. I feel like I would rather something that has that more strong, fruity flavor um, or elderflower flavor. Uh, but this is more just like a sour gummy. Yeah, I do like it though, because you can kind of just, I don't know, chow down on this whole bag. So that's a problem. Yeah. That's a bad thing. <laughs> that is a bad thing, I guess. But compared to the last one where I'd only eat like two or three at a okay. time. Oh, see, no, I'd, I'd go crazy on the other ones. This one's a little more like, I just feel like it's just just sweet flavor. Almost. Okay. And by the last one, I mean the, the licorice one. Oh, okay, the licorice. Yes. See, I put that out of my mind. <laughs> You're like, nope, never happened. Nope. <laughs> my hands still smell smoky though. Oh, really? Yeah. Can I smell your hands? It probably smells like it on yours too. <laughs> it's like every time I get close to my nose, it's like, hmm, smoky. It smells like a barbecue. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's that's kind of good. Yeah, I mean, it's nice. Yeah. Okay. Um, we need to rate that Everything. one, actually. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah. All right. Three, two, one, nine. Six. It's like an upside down nine. Almost. Yes. <laughs> uh, so I gave it a higher rating because the more I ate it, the more I really enjoyed that blueberry flavor. Okay. And I like that it wasn't overly punch in the mouth sour. It was just uh, like right. a nice, yeah. gentle sour. Yeah, I did like the sour, the level of sour. That was nice. Yeah, so super enjoyable. Mm -hmm. All right, your turn to pick without my hand. Well, I want to get this done with so that we can do these two after it. <laughs> okay, so this is the sweet licorice and ginger. And ginger. See, this sounds really cool, and it's also sweet licorice. Yeah, so you like ginger typically like you love putting ginger on your sushi mm -hmm. and things like that so oh and even just like little crystallized ginger pieces that you can get like candied yeah. or chocolate covered ginger that's good yeah yeah so this is it's just, just a classic yeah. swedish oh it's not fish shape oh look it's cute it's more of a classic licorice yeah. shape right maybe like a um a chunk of the classic isn't the a lot of times we've had the ones that are like long like a right. log yeah exactly so it's more of like a little portion of it portion of log yes log all kids love log let's wait for a snack it's on your back it's log 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 everyone needs a log log from blamo <laughs> all right let's give this a shot all right <laughs> okay so much better yeah. I'm glad that we did the other licorice first and now that we're ending on this licorice. Yeah, this one was good. Like the, the ginger really helps mm -hmm. cut the licorice. Now it is sweet licorice you know what? I'm not too. Gonna have another. Okay. So Yeah, so yeah, not, that's what helps. It's not salty licorice. Right. It's not anything like overly pungent. Yeah. And I like you get that ginger, um ginger has that like hmm, how do you explain it? That um, bite to yeah, it. Yeah, it was a bite. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of neat. It, like it's like a almost spicy. Like it, yeah, it yeah. hits you at the end. It is neat how that comes through. Yeah. Okay. Drink rate. Uh, what should we rate this one? Mm. I think you want to do this. Okay. Three, two, one. I did a seven. I did a four. Um, it's not. It's not bad at all. It is kind of pleasant, but it's still not something that I prefer the taste of. And I actually enjoyed the smoky one a little bit better because I think I gave that an eight, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I think so. So you gave it a two, eight and two made 10. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was it. 
Yeah, this is neat though. That's a good combination. Yeah. With the ginger, I like that. Yeah, and it was good. balanced very well. So yes. that's very good too. Yes, definitely. All right. So. Ooh. Oh, black curtain and raspberry. That's a winner. We might have to save that one to last. Or sour raspberry. Okay. Let's do the, the sour raspberry. Yes. Oh, it's the same like roding fish, whatever okay. that is, I guess. Okay. So just the typical kind of fish shape. All right. Oh yeah, that's right, it's sour, so it has the crystals on it. Oh yeah, cool. They're very big. Yeah, and it's that nice pinkish kind of raspberry yeah. color that the other raspberry one was. All right. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I could definitely eat a whole bag of that. Yeah. Mm. I wanna have more, but yeah. Mm. 10, 10, definitely. Because mm -hmm. I think the sour and the raspberry really complements each other well. Definitely, yes it does. And I actually like the amount of chewy gumminess that you get with that size of fish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Too. All right. That is good. So that was the quick and easy one. Yeah. <laughs> last one. I'm the so sad. One. This is like my favorite because they're all the little chewy gummy candies. I love that. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. much. You want to open it? I can. So this is Torskin black currant and raspberry candy. Yeah. We love black currant flavor. We do. We first had it. In a drink, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, the Ribi Ribina. Ribina. Yeah. Is that what it is? Yes, sure. from the UK. And we just fell in love with it. And yeah, it's something that we normally don't see over here right. in the States. Yeah. So what fish is that? This one's in the shape of cod. Okay. We're like learning our fish as we go, too. Yeah. That one was the pike. This one's the cod. That one's a rooting. This one's really hard to open. It says I need scissors. Oh, that's funny. So. Do you want me to just try to open it? Eh, maybe I'll do it a different way. <laughs> Wouldn't this be funny if I just opened it real quick? Yeah. Especially since it says I need scissors. <laughs> All right. Good job, baby. <laughs> You had to feel powerful, didn't you? <laughs> Ooh, okay. Wait, they're like different colors. What? Well, look at this. This one's like just a little darker than this one. Oh, I wonder if... Uh... <gasps> Black, currant, and raspberry. There you go. So that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See now, do you eat them separate or together? I think we should eat them separately and then together. All right, well, we had the raspberry before, so I wonder if it's the same. Good, good. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's the same. Black currant. Mmm, that's a black currant I know and love. Oh yeah. Mmm. All right, no fish sandwich. <laughs> Wait, we gotta go. Put this on top. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ready. Ready? Okay. Hmm. Mm. Ooh, they're really good together. They are. Mmm. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. We ended on a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that was all by happenstance? Chance? Huh. Hap um, pure... Uh, dumb luck. Dumb luck, yes. Because we were picking a card, any card. Yeah, pretty much. All right. So, uh, how do I rate that? How do we rate that? 11? <laughs> yeah, we'll give that 11. It was good. It was really good. Definitely a 10. I mean, you don't have to see the number, right? Yeah, no, because <laughs> there we, it is. in order to make it 11, we would have to do something like that, because yeah. we don't have a card that goes up to 11. Yeah. And that was yeah, great. Yeah, it was good. Uh, it was a really good black currant flavor. Mm -hmm. It makes me want more black currant stuff. I know. I really like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That all was of, great. All of these were good. These were good, good, good chewy candies. Yes. So, so good. Ah. Um, if any of you are watching this from Sweden, do you like this Colesart brand? Yeah. Um, is what, it something... What's your favorite? What's your yeah. favorite flavor? <laughs> yeah, tell us what your favorite flavor is. And really, wow, I'm so glad that the guys over at Swedish mm -hmm. decided to give us this whole bag of awesome chewy candy. Yeah. Oh, we have so many left over. I know. I'm so happy. Yes. <laughs> yes. Right. And when they're gone, we know where to go get more. Yeah. So if you guys have the time to check out Swedish in Lancaster, um, if you live around here, definitely do that because it would be worth your time. Yes. And the, and the guys there that run the place are fantastic. And they are actually going to be opening up new and more locations. And they're going to actually be branching out into other countries carrying okay. different lines from other countries oh, so fun. that's going to be exciting as well and 
You can also buy from them on their website. So if you don't live in this area and you live in the States and you don't want to pay the astronomical importation fee <laughs> to get this kind of stuff, yeah. you can go check out their website. I will have a link to that in the description down below. Yeah. But really, once again, we are so appreciative of Swedish Candy Shop in Lancaster for sponsoring this yeah. video yeah. by giving us these candies to try. Yeah, so nice. So yeah. Nice. Yeah. Anyway. That is it for this video. Make sure once again that you are subscribed to our channel because we have another video sponsored by Swedish coming to you next week. Yes. We are rolling back into the swing of things with our second breakfast and afternoon tea videos yeah. and it feels so good. Yeah. We're finally getting our hands on candy again. Yes. Yes. I love it. <laughs> yes. So really that is it. So until next time. So long. Farewell. Namarie. We have a bag of goodies right here from Swedish. No. All right. Hi everyone, I'm Haley. And I'm Nathan. And who's saying it? I don't know. Okay. So you were. Our dog oh. is going insane at somebody out front. <gasps> Yeah. It's a nice, soft, mm. chewy. Just lacking a little flavor. Yes. We are rolling back into the thing. And, uh. Alright, okay. Bring on the next thing.